How's it going, everybody, and welcome back for episode 10 of Hardcore Minecraft on the new 1.20 update, where today I think it's time we go fight our third boss, the Wither. However, before we can do that, I figure we gotta max out our sword here so that we can go grind some Wither skeletons and get the skulls that we need to summon the Wither. So... Do we want to go ahead and head into the nether really quick and hope that we can knock those out? I guess we do. All right, let's see. Smite sword, make that our main. Those items are still there. Oh, no. Ow. Ow. Ooh, there's a skeleton right down here. Oh, a couple of them. Hi, guys. Can I get off to a good start and get a skull immediately from one of these? No, it's not seeming like it. Hold up a second. Don't shoot at me. Please. Damn it. Okay. That was just wishful thinking, to be fair. Let's go deeper into the fortress here. Although now that I think about it, I don't think we saw any wither skeletons whenever I came here for blaze rods the first time. Hello? Any skeletons around? Nope, not down there. Anybody home? I don't really care about three gold. We'll ignore it. Man, is it just me or is this fortress kind of barren? We had the three off to the side, kind of, but usually whenever you're running through, they're trying to jump you from corners and everything. Like this guy right here. Nothing. What about back behind here? Nope, that is a dead end. Up here? Anyone home? Ooh, diamonds. I'll take those. I don't particularly need them. But I won't argue. Man, this is kind of just empty. What about in this top layer here? Nothing. Got another blaze spawner up there. Oh, now we're getting a couple spawns over on the far side. Alright, hold up. I'm coming. No! Oh, I'm so glad that the skeleton landed that. Ow! Ow! I thought the pigman was attacking me for a second. What the hell? Nothing there. Go away, fire. Come here. Come on. Away from the pig. Nothing. Damn. I think you used to be able to force spawns, didn't you? What was it you had to do? Like, lower your render distance and then raise it? The nether looks creepy with a two render distance. You can't see anything. Alright, and then we'll raise it. We'll just max it out, I guess. Spawn to blaze over there. Oh, okay. Maybe it worked. Don't do that. 
There's a lot of blazes in there. Ow. No, get away. I see you. Now hold up, where was he? Give me a skull. He, aww. He died from the fall, so I don't think looting procced. Normal skeleton. Ooh, there's a bunch of wither skeletons there. Hold up. Let me work my way down to these guys. Ow. None? Really? I guess there is a pretty low chance of them dropping. But still... I want to have better luck than that. Come here, friends. Both of you are going to drop one for me, right? Uh, clearly not. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Damn it. Another dud. Another one. Ow. Ah! You weren't paying attention to me. I wasn't ready for it. Get back. Yeah, for some reason being up here seems to make a couple spawn at least. So I'll take it. Watch out, piglin. Ow! Don't do that to me. Still no skull? Alright, let's start working our way over here. There's a few of them. Come here, guys. Come on, friends. I'm not dealing with that. Hold up. Still no wither skeletons. Oh, wait. I said that, and then a couple spawned, like, right below me. Come here, sir. Come on. Come back. Nothing. And wait! Oh my god, we finally got one! After so long! All this time! Now we just need two more. Ah, uh, here we go. Now we got a nice little grouping. Come on, friends. What are you guys doing? Leave them alone. They're mine. You two, back up. What are you doing? Stay there. No head. No head. Why? Just why? Also, that piglin tried to set a trap for me. 
I saw a skeleton over here and I don't know where now. There he is. Now what? Come in here. Oh, we got one. All right, two down. Ow! Get away from the pig. I can't. I can't fight you fair if you're up on him. <gasps> There's the third already. I love it. Thank you. We can leave now. I feel like I've been here for 40 years. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Let's get out of here. We'll clean up our inventory a little bit. I'm just excited to be able to go home and fight the wither. I'm so ready. Get me out of here, portal. Ew, it's raining. Oh, wait. Hold up. Let me bring my render distance back down. There we go. That's a little more sensible. And now, let's see. Let's go dump some stuff really quick. What don't I need? That, uh, netherrack, that. I'm gonna need the arrows, probably. The eight mycelium can go. On the bright side, we got a good chunk of coal from doing that. Throw that in there. We got a lot of bones to work with, which is very good. I guess the blaze rods are okay. Diamonds are nice. I am going to need to go trade for arrows, though, because I went through most of our arrows. So we're going to run over here real quick. We'll trade for a couple arrows. And then we will fight a wither, I guess. Let's grab some emeralds. Excuse me, gentlemen. Yeah, that'll do. I am going to need to go grab our soul sand, which should still be in the chest down by the pond, I think. Even though I didn't end up using it for the pond. There we go. Got lots of arrows to work with. Looking good. I guess we'll do the spectral arrows first, although I don't even know if you can spectral the wither. And then... One, two, three, four. I guess I can put the other three back. We don't need those. And back to the smite sword. Is there anything else I need to do? All right, let's head on over here and we'll pick a spot on the island to fight it, I guess. We could go underground, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Also, can you fight a wither underwater? Do they spawn underwater or do they just shoot to the surface or how does that work? Like, if I had a trident, and I decided I wanted to, could I just do it from there? Take him to the bottom of the sea? Also, I guess since we're going to go past our mushroom house anyways here, we're going to go ahead and throw some windows in and a couple lights, because why not? I want to start decorating this kind of as we go anyways. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we'll have like a two high window in the back. And then like right here in the middle be a sea lantern. Just kind of like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. And last one. There we go. Maybe it'll be nighttime by the time we're done and we can see how these look at night. I think the light from the sea lantern might be enough to make the mushrooms almost glow, which would be kind of cool. Where are we thinking? Like right around here, maybe? I think we should be far enough back. This should be okay. We do have this little ravine here. But it doesn't go down very far, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Yeah, we're going to do it right here. Alright, here we go. Pop! 
Hi there, friend. We get back here. Ow. You know what? I'm gonna gapple even though we don't need it yet. Also, wow, that, that's loud as hell. Alive. I don't like it. There's the halfway point. I was wondering when we were going to hit that. Eat another one. Come here, sir. What? Oh, he healed. Get down here. I hope there's not a cave under me anywhere. I got lower than I would have liked there at the end. But uh, most importantly, the wither finally wore off, which is fantastic. And we got our nether star. We're looking good. So uh, maybe we want to go back and make a beacon. I don't know where we'll put it or what we'll do with it. But it's good to have, I guess. We could put it right up the middle of the giant mushroom here. What do we think? How would that look? We wouldn't be able to see it unless we dug a hole out of the top, I guess. But that's not really a problem. What do we think? Like right here? Straight up the top? If this is going to be our new, like, central hub area for all of our villagers, we'll probably be be around it fairly often. Although we could also just put it on our island, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. I guess, first, we should go make it. Although, all my glass is over there, so I guess we will grab the obsidian. Dump off all the dirt. Couple mushroom stems, extra sea lanterns, all that jazz. And go grab the glass. Do I want it on the island is the question. And if so, where would I put it? I think the island might be a little cramped for it. I think the mushroom is probably our best bet. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's grab some of that dirt, I guess. Just so we can work with that. And then we're going to go do some villager trading to get some more emeralds. Because an emerald base is going to be easiest for us. Just because we can get those so quickly. But first, we'll grab the glass. And we have ourselves a beacon. There we go. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to borrow your bed really quick. Thank you, sir. I escaped instead. That's not good. Now, thank you, sir grab all of our sticks here we'll just go trade these away hello friend there's an extra 48 pretty quick and easy hopefully they will restock soon but for now we'll just start compressing these down to blocks that's not correct try that again 27 uh i forget how many layers you can even do on one of these However, do we want the emeralds to be showing? Maybe the maybe just the top layer? Just like right here we do. And then let's see. There's the second layer. I don't know how many layers down it goes.
All right, there's that. We need seven more blocks, and then we can have a two-layer beacon and go from there. All right, how many are we looking at now? If I can do it properly, that's what, six? I need one more. All right, there we go. We should be able to make our last block. Perfect. Jo drop off the extras, put away the sticks, and then let's go make this the last layer and throw our beacon down. You can use emeralds, right? I think. Do you have to activate it? Give me those. Running back. It puts off a lot of light, which is nice. Um, I can't select a power. So is this actually working? Or no, it has to be. It has to be able to see the sky or something, right? Is that gonna make it in? Okay, guess I'm gonna climb in. Or go outside? No, definitely gonna go from the inside, I guess. Alright, hold up. I don't think I have Feather Falling 4 yet, so imagine how embarrassing it would have been if I, if I died from that pearl. Now it's gonna work? Hey, there we go. Make sure that connects all the way down before I grab it and jump off. All right, and we can do any of these that we want. Probably speed. There we go. All right, I like that a lot. I think that's a good place for our beacon. Should I make it tinted red whenever it comes out? All you need for that is like red glass, right? Maybe? Maybe I leave it. Maybe we should go ahead and move over our villagers and that's maybe a good spot to end this off. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and make some extra wood so I can just make a couple boats here. Just a few. And I'm just going to put boats in front of all the doorways. That way our villagers don't have a choice. No, don't put me in here. Damn it. Give that back. Push that up. There we go. Do that. And then we'll just let them get in their boats. And then one at a time, we'll start taking their tables and their beds and moving them over. Because they're all locked in, so... Yeah, see, there we go. So now if I tear this down one at a time. Grab the bed, grab him, we'll take him over, I'll set him up in a house and we'll be good to go. Uh, although, I am going to put doors on them. So hold up, wait a minute. We're going to make some doors. 
15 should be more than enough. Although I guess they don't really need to have doors. It just feels weird if they don't. So now we got to figure out where we want everyone set up to. I'm thinking we could do alternating. I could do like a book and then a another guy and then a book and then another guy. Or hmm, what is his trade? Silk touch. Maybe we leave these front houses for the Mendy boy. So I've got, what, six librarians? So one, we could do... The corners, we could do... No, I don't know. I think this boy's gonna... This one here is gonna be Silk Touch. That's what we'll do. Grab both of these... Throw down a lectern, throw down a bed. Hopefully he will go in to work. And then we just put a door on it. They're allowed to come and go as they please now. They're not going to be locked up forever. And then we go get the next boy. I think he's going to go in the opposite house of the first guy. On that one there. And that's kind of what we're going to do on the all three of the back sides is I'm going to have um, librarian villagers on the left and the right of the middle one. And then the middle one is going to be one of the Fletchers. And hopefully he'll just stay close to his house. So this boy needs to go here. So then let's see, we'll move the boat, we'll bring this down, we'll bring this down. The beds are not going to alternate colors as well anymore, which is a shame. But that's fine. On to the next one. Here we are. And there you go, sir. Enjoy your new home. Not really any more spacious on the outside. Or on the inside, but the outside looks a lot better. And you, you know, you have room to jump if you want, I guess. You can stand on your bed. You can move around a little bit. Bed, fletching table. And there you go, sir. As soon as it'll let me break your boat. And a door for you so you can have a little privacy. Fletching table and bed. And then the new addition. There you are, sir. They're all going to congregate and talk a little bit. And hopefully they'll all return to their own houses at the end of the night. Actually, I mean, you know what? I don't judge. It's up to them what they do in their, with their nighttime. As long as they have houses to be safe in, that's fine. There's our first addition to the right side. Now we've only got three more boys to move. These last ones might be a little worried. I've demolished their houses in front of them. Oh, they are. They think their workstations are over here, don't they? Hold up, let me sleep. They're going to their last known bed locations, which is not good. Oh no. I've lost them. Oh no. No, don't get in there. Get in, get in your own boat. Shit. Alright, well that's okay. We have two new ones in here. And that's fine. That's all I had left except for this guy. Get in the boat. You. Okay, we're gonna take this one. The, t the other two new ones are in their spot. Oh no. Oh no, nighttime. I didn't think nighttime was going to be a problem. Huh. 
Right, bed, lectern. Cut this man loose. There we go. Hopefully all the other ones will return and not jump into the cow pen and get crushed. I'm gonna have to boat them all back over. Oh hey, they spawned me a golem, I didn't even notice. All right, hopefully they'll split up into separate... Oh no. Hopefully they'll split up into separate boats. That didn't happen. Sir. Sir, get in the boat. Where are you going? I haven't picked out a house for you yet. Okay, stay there. He's going to be very angry with me. Get in. Thank you. Okay. Let's just pick these up here. Don't you get in that boat. It's mine. Oh no, he's in with the cows. Well, this turned into a bit of a mess. Maybe I should have locked them all in for the first night. That way they uh, were forced to sleep in the new beds. Where are you going? Where is it you, you're wanting to go so bad? This is the guy I hit too, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, this is his. Maybe? I'm so confused. Oh no. You know what? I'm just gonna throw things down and let them let them go where they go, I guess. Thankfully, we have basically all the books we need except for an unbreaking book and a mending book. So they can kind of just pick for themselves now, I guess. Come here, sir. I will attempt to take you to a home. Maybe once they've all picked their homes, I'll add like hanging signs or something and we'll see if, uh, if see if it sticks. Okay, he attached to this one, so that's good. There's no one in here. No one currently in there. Aqua Affinity seems attached to this one. I think he's attached here. Mendy Boy, which I don't think that's where he belongs, but that's fine. Unbreaking is stuck. He's attached. He's attached. I think we're good. I need one librarian and one of the, um, one of the Fletchers, and that's it. So let's throw him in a boat. Then this one could be an issue, maybe. Don't walk in front of me, sir. Don't do this. Why does he want to get struck by my axe so bad? I mean, I guess to be fair, he is stuck with about 300 cows in like a 9x9, nine nine, so I would probably want the same thing. Should I set all the cows loose? I think it could be funny if I set all the cows loose. I've got so much food that I could never need more, so is it really a problem if I do? We'll dwindle the numbers a little bit, and then I'll set them loose. Alright, uh, can I... Can I snag you, villager? Nope. Not like that, I can't. There we go. Alright, the cows have freedom if they choose to take it. That's fine if you want to talk, but, uh... Just, just go in there. Nudge, nudge. Oh, I'm being rude? Okay, fine. If you say so. Can the cows not get past this cow in the boat here? They can't get past it. Okay. No 
buddy getting this one. This one's mine. All right, hopefully this man will attach to here, but it looks like they're going to go group up. Ah, yes, please. All right, there we go. He's attached. I think we're good. I think everyone has attached to a home now. Everyone can do a little bit of wandering. Maybe the cows will end up making their way over to the village. Maybe. Oh my god, it looks ridiculous with all these cows here. They're not exactly wandering very far. So, hold up. No, I put all the wheat away. I was gonna say, maybe I'll lure them over to the village. I certainly will not be doing that. Because I didn't keep any of the wheat on me. So they're all just gonna congregate in this corner. All right, well, you know what? We brought a little bit of life to our new village. We got a beacon set up with some speed so we can run around and trade a little bit faster. All of our villagers have their newly upgraded homes. And we didn't really do much on the way of decoration, but it looks fairly good as is. We've got cats now. We've got an iron golem over here. And most importantly, this was just to cap it all off because we got our third boss completed. We only have one to go. We gotta find a way to hunt down a warden, which I'm not sure the easiest way to find an ancient city, but I guess we'll figure that out. And maybe next episode, I'm thinking we can go to the end and start looking for an elytra. And possibly sometime soon, we should build a mob grinder or something for a good source of gunpowder. Because we'll obviously need to make rockets so that we can travel with a little bit of power under us so we got plans but i'm fairly happy with the way things ended off today so that being said i hope you all enjoyed if you did please like the video leave a comment and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and i will see you next time